Welcome to another uh, Smokeball product chat with me, Jane Oxley. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer of Smokeball and Adele Hoyle, our Global Head of Product. Today, we're not going to show you something that's exactly new in Smokeball, but we're going to show you something that really can make a big difference to your billing process. So a couple of features that um, help you with flexibility in the way that you can bill and also productivity in helping you deal with your invoicing faster. Adele, can you take it away? Sure. Thanks, Jane. Yeah, so like Jane said, I just want to show you some things that sometimes people forget we even have. And then when we talk about them and show them to our clients, it's like, oh, wow, I wish I knew that before. <laughs> it might have saved me some time. So I'm just going to show you. So this is my small ball matter that you can see. And and a lot of family lawyers that we've been talking to recently, they talk about the journey between doing a fixed fee matter and how sometimes at a certain point, once the matters hit a certain milestone, like it's fixed fee until this point, but should anything change, should it you know, go to court or anything like that, then I'm gonna actually start charging on a time-based matter basis. And some of our clients are finding, yeah, I've got my fixed fee, I'm working on that. But once it makes that change, what they're actually doing is they're going into the activity tracker and they're actually, you know, looking at the work that they have done and manually going through and adding all of that time, which is time consuming. Mm. And just every single thing you do going in, add, 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 add. It's just a lot of extra manual time that you really don't need. And we actually have a way of solving that. And this is nothing new. This has always been there. So it's just a nice little something to remind everybody of. So instead of having to go into auto time or manually capturing your time, we definitely don't want you to do that. You can actually go into the information of your matter. So this info line up at the top here, if I click on there, I can actually see some information about my matter. Up at the top, I've got a billing tab. And in that billing tab, this lets me define the billing type. And at the minute, I've got it set as fixed fee. I've set it's fixed fee and the fee is going to be $10,000. But now I want to switch it. All I simply have to do is make it a time-based matter. I can adjust the estimate as well. If that estimate, I now I'm going to give an estimate. It's going to be an increase. I could change that at that point. But simply by clicking OK, any work that I now perform, small ball tracks it automatically. And then with auto time, it's going to capture your time entries at the end of the day. So you don't have to manually enter your time when you make that switch between fixed fee and time-based. Beautiful. It's like really simple, but a lot of people <laughs> don't even realize it's there and uh, can save themselves a lot of time. Letting small ball just switch and track that and automatically create the time entries for you in your time and expenses tab. And they could even switch it back again, couldn't they? I know a couple exactly. of firms that have different stages, they actually flip-flop a few times. So Exactly. You can change the billing state at any time. And any um, any day that you make that change, any time that's captured on that day will either be automatically created overnight or not, depending on what you've set it to, whether it be fixed fee or time-based. Awesome. So a nice little win there for a lot of you. And just a little extra to add to that. Some clients we have, they use Smokeball and have what they call like an admin or a general matter where they capture lots of stuff um, that's maybe to do with the firm, nothing to do with the legal matter. Again, make sure when you do create those admin matters, set it to be, um, oh, go into billing and you know, set it to be not billable. If you mm -hmm. do that, you're not gonna get any automatic time entries created on a admin matter. It's another trap I've seen a few clients fall into, especially new ones. So yeah, not billable is also a really good state for anything that's internal that you're working on. Great tip. <laughs> yes, I see that one a lot. Okay, so that's my first little bit of, um, look what we've always had, might help you save a lot of time in that switch between fixed and time-based matters. The other thing um, that's came to light recently is on the billing side. So inside of Smokeball Billing, we actually have a number of email templates. It's a relatively new feature and we're building these out over time. So really love for you all to start using them and giving your feedback on them. 
But typically what I find is a lot of clients are coming into billing, they're generating their invoices, and then they're coming into here and they're downloading the PDF, saving it to their matter, and then emailing it out of Smokeball desktop out of that matter mm-hmm. using their inbox. And yes, you can do it that way. And I know a lot of people prefer to come from their inbox, whereas Smokeball billing the emails are not coming, it's not going to appear in your sent items. But we have improved our email templates and billing so that it will land in your inbox. So you will get a copy of all the emails that you send out of billing. And I think that's like that's the key there is that you at least see what your clients are seeing and you have a bit of control over what the email says. So these are the things that we have made improvements on over the last uh, six to 12 months. So first of all, I'll show you what the templates look like. So up inside of billing, you've got the settings, then go to firm settings and I have email templates. Clicking on email templates, we've built out a a few templates already and we're continuing to build these out. So let us know any others that you'd like to see in here. But this is the main one I wanted to show you first. So this is the template that will be sent with your invoices. Now you have quite a lot of flexibility in here. It's almost a little bit like automation with precedence. So you can define what's my email subject going to say? Um, What does my email body look like? And the beauty of this is we've given you placeholders. So you can see here a number of different pieces of data that you can actually use into your email. And you can generate that email similar to an automation to a precedent. So you can say hello or hi or dear, whatever you prefer, and then put the name as a field in there. So it's going to take the name of the debtor on the invoice and populate it into that spot there. And then you can put whatever text you want to add and then add in as many of these placeholders as you want to make it as customized to your firm as you wish. So there's a lot of flexibility in here now, which we didn't used to have. And then also down the bottom, you've got a couple of extra options. And this is the key one here. So send the copy of the email to the user. So whoever sends this email, whoever sends the invoice, they're going to get a copy of of that email. And so they're going to see what your client sees. And then they can save that against the matter. So that's kind of that key piece, taking that away from having to do it in the desktop because you will get a copy. And that's on by default. So all of our templates, by default, you'll get a copy. So you don't have to set that up. It's going to come um, as standard. You can and you can change this and set it once and then it will um, take effect on every invoice that you send. So there's the templates Um, and simply as soon as you generate a new invoice at the point of finalizing you can just tick the email. I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. If I was to create an invoice I'll just pick any invoice or something that's a little bit nicer information. Um, If I just go to draft, at the point of click and final, you've got this email, this invoice now. So the process of generating your invoice, final and send, all one click. No need to download, no need to save to the matter, no need to open a new email, no need to type that email, attach the document and send. (laughs) Lots of steps. Simply tick a box and hit send and that email will automatically go to your client with the invoice attached described exactly as you set up in that template. Huge time saver. (laughs) And I just don't think a lot of people are realizing we do have these great templates now. And again, things that we are building out over time. And you can also at any point resend the email. So looking at this invoice here, I can just click email and it's gonna pop up that same email window. And I can send this email off to myself, to someone else in the firm, um, to whomever I want. And I can kind of see what that email looks like. And I've got the option to see, oh, what would that email look like once all of the data has been converted? All those placeholders with the data, what's it actually gonna look like? What will the client see? So it's really super flexible, um, both at the point of finalize and send, you've got the control over this, or at any point if you want to resend, you've got control over this email to make any further tweaks or changes. I love it. Yeah, loads of flexibility. Um, So that's our email templates. I mean, if you need any help with any of this, you can just call our support team. We're more than happy to help you. And then the final thing I wanted to kind of show you um, is 
when you do get these emails now with the invoices attached, we've also got an electronic invoice link. We're turning it on for, we've got quite a few clients got it turned on now. We haven't turned it on for everyone. So if you're interested, please reach out. Um, but when you do get the invoice, you have this view invoice link. And when you click the view invoice link, you actually see the invoice as an electronic invoice. So this is what your clients see. Really beautiful, easy to read summary of your invoice that you can drill into the detail and actually see exactly what work has been done, how much it's cost, how much is paid, if you've paid anything, and how much is outstanding. And the beauty of this is you're actually going to get, allow your clients to see all of their outstanding debt, all of their invoices in the one spot. So Julia Gray had five outstanding invoices with my firm. They're going to see that they can see all those five invoices here and they can have the ability to see how much is outstanding across all of them and just manage and control that from one spot rather than right now finding all the individual emails opening the individual pdf documents and trying to manage that themselves which you know is a bit time consuming and you want to make it as simple as possible for your clients to engage with you and to find the information that they're looking for easily so electronic invoices is the way to do that and the only way to get the link at the moment is from your billing email template so, okay. give it so and so if clients don't know about this the best thing is to contact support and Correct. and ask how to get it turned on this is pretty exactly. exciting it's the first step and there's quite a number of new features coming off the back of this too which is probably a sneak peek in future videos I yeah guess. it's just trying to streamline and make much easier for you as a firm but then also making it much easier for your client as well to yeah. to work with you so everything a win-win and then i did have one final thing if we've got time yeah. jane i yeah. just wanted to um to tell you about something else that we are currently developers are working on this now and we're going to get it out really soon is something i hear a lot and you'll have seen it when i was showing you this um, billing tab earlier this type and i mentioned setting an estimate what we're actually going to start to do really soon is bring this estimate to the forefront and start alerting you when that estimate is getting close to to the to the dollar value. So, if I was to set ten thousand dollars in here as an estimate, um, really soon you're going to see that estimate appear in this billing widget, and so you're going to have that appear at the top. So your estimate is ten thousand, and as you start to do your billable work as you start to invoice all of that work in progress will start to calculate in the background and when you start to come close to your estimate it will turn amber so you'll see that the balance there turn amber in your widget bit of a visual indicator and when it gets really close to the estimate it's going to turn red um, and in addition to that we are going to send some internal communicate messages to the person responsible and the person assisting saying just to let you know you are at 85% of your estimate just giving them the information if they want to re-estimate that with their client it can set the trigger to have that conversation and go okay we're actually only 50% of the way through we envisage this is going to be maybe $15,000 have that conversation early don't let the have bill shock don't discount your valuable work you know just have that conversation at the right time so we really want to bring that information um, to you as it's happening just to give you all the information you need to have that better really robust conversations with your client as needed it's very exciting i think and um a reminder that it's not quite out yet it's coming soon it's been coming as we it's not a sneak peek because it's not quite there yet but i definitely wanted to mention it because i think it's it's another great step in this whole sort of billing journey really um making sure we're estimating well we know when we're hitting that estimate we have those good conversations with our clients and we get those um those simplified billing processes on the other end Beautiful. Well, thank you, Adele. Lots of good tips and a couple of sneak peeks in there today. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, any comments, uh, you know where to find us. And if you want training on anything you saw today, contact support or your account manager at Smokeball. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.